Good morning. Hello, 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 Facebook land. How are you? Oh, I'm so glad to be back. I missed you all last week. I, I, I talked to most of my Facebook audience on Monday, and then I had a extremely busy week uh, throughout the rest of the week, so I wasn't able to connect back with you, but I am so happy to be back talking to my Facebook people, giving you all some info. Uh, it's what I love to do. It's a labor of love. This is Knowledge by Nikki with 1K, and I am just happy to be alive, okay? Uh, I am so excited, guys. You all don't, really just don't understand. I am happy to be uh, still here after Resurrection Sunday. Easter was a great day. You know, it's still cold here in Chicago. What you gonna do? Still cold. So we still gotta wear the big coats and the big jackets and, you know, hey, what, what you gonna do? But I am excited about what I see happening in the industry, guys. I see a lot of really great things happening in the industry and let, let me tell you why uh, I started I see some of my stretch babies on here oh big ups to stretch uh, I see a lot of shifting and when I say I see a lot of shifting I, I I get calls when I say guys every day every other day text emails something in regards to what's going on in this industry I get something all the time all the time about how to fix what we see is broken and i'm talking about from salons being jacked up to i got people calling me at schools like they're not teaching me anything i got a girl that called me from i don't know where she was from that was talking about how poor her owner was managing and operating her business and i, I just i see a lot of shifting when it comes to people wanting to to get it right wanting to figure out how do I, where do I go to find a salon that's operating the way I need it to operate? Where do I, where do I go when I leave school? Uh, what type of owner should I look for? I got owners asking me, what type of staff should I look for? And, and see, all of this for me is wonderful because it says to me that we are trying to make a positive change and, and, and really kind of rebirth this business. You know, yesterday was about the birth of Christ, about the resurrection of Christ and and uh, that's what I want to see happen here. My passion is that <coughs> every ounce of information I have, I want to be able to share that information with all of you all so that we can get it right, guys. Do, I don't know if we understand, those of us that haven't asked the question, we are in a billion-dollar industry. Not a million, guys. Not seven numbers. Eight numbers. Industry. And we are not treating it right, guys. And then we wonder why it doesn't, you know, treat us right or why we don't end well. Because we have got to understand some things about how to operate this thing we call the beauty world or the barber world. I got some barbers that follow me all the time. So let me start off by saying that I'm, I'm, I'm happy again that people are wanting to know how to do it right. But let's talk about money. Let's talk about money. And I've said this before in Facebook Lives way months ago. That if you are not, I'm not, I ain't saying do it for the money, but you have to be concerned about the bottom line. I don't care why you're doing it. The bottom line has to matter because if you just in here doing hair, servicing, having fun with the clients and just doing what you do, then that's a hobby. That's a hobby. That ain't a business no more. That is a hobby. And I don't think any of us are doing this strictly just for a hobby. So what i'm gonna talk about today which is something that my stretch group my i love my stretch babies we, we get in the rhythm i see some change happening and i'm excited but our next april and may months are going to be talking about knowing your numbers and this is where most of us i did too until i got it right mess up we make all this money. You know, it ain't nothing for a stylist. A stylist working part-time, depending on what services they do, can literally make six figures. It ain't hard. It is It is easy. If you just want to put a little effort behind it and be halfway good, you can make six figures in this business easily. So the thing is, though, what, what, do you, what, what happens when you get the six figures? Is that gross? Is that net? Uh, what did you have to spend out of that? What is, what is the money looking like when the smoke clears? And that's what a lot of us are not getting. We're not understanding the numbers. Now, I'm going to give you some categories 
that we are going to focus on for the month of April and May. This is my stretch group. My stretch group is my group of, of stylists that have owned their salons or owners, salon owners that have owned their salons for, I think the, the, the least amount is two years on one and all the way up to 20 years. And so this is my group. It's a coaching group that's made for salon owners. That's what it's made for. So, and actually guys, I had closed the stretch group, but I have coaches that are working with me now, which means I can handle more. So if anybody on this call wants to get, is interested in stretch, there is some criteria. Go on my website, knowledgebynikkiwith1k.com. Go in the uh, message box where you can send me a message and say, look, I want to know more about stretch and I'll contact you because you got to go through a few steps before I just let you in. All right, but let's talk about knowing your numbers. Let's talk about that. I've been doing something with uh, some of my salon owners that are in my stretch group, and it's called a three-month challenge. Uh, one or uh, two of them have already finished it, and then the other ones are actually going to be either starting or have already started and hadn't finished. What the three-month challenge is, guys, just give you a, a glimpse. If you get in the stretch, I'm going to walk you through it. It's just one aspect of knowing your numbers. Three-month challenge is being able to know what you're worth an hour. That's what it is. Every corporate job in America, unless they're on salary, works based off of an hourly wage. They know, okay, $20 an hour, $30 an hour, plus perks or whatever. Most industry jobs, corporate jobs, know what, they, what they're getting paid an hour. Like I said, unless they work salary. So most of us just kind of knowing around what around about what an hourly wage would be, we'll say, I ain't working for $15 an hour. I'm not working for $10 an hour. Or I ain't even going to work for $20 an hour, which some people think that's great. But I want to show you something. When I give you the three-month challenge, it is a way that we're going to take the hours you work, the amount of clients you do, and the amount that you're charging for the servicing. And I'm going to come up with a way where I can literally tell you how much you're actually working for an hour. And let me tell you what's interesting. Every time I do this, with the exception of maybe a few that I can remember, they actually are working for an hourly wage that if I told them I'm going to pay you $20 an hour, $25 an hour, they turn me down. But they're working for like 19 or they're working for like 18 and they didn't even know it. They didn't even realize that this is what they're working for. So the three month challenge and we do it over three months because it takes a minute. You got to take the up, the down days, the good, the bad. You got to take all that, put it together. The days people cancel, the days they didn't show. You're still sitting there. You are still sitting there. So that's still hours that you're giving up to your business, whether you're producing or not. So we took all of that time and we put it in a three month window and I was able to show them how they were actually uh, working for X amount of dollars an hour. And I'm going to tell you, 90% of the people that I've done this with are super shocked. They're like, I cannot believe that I'm really only getting paid $26 an hour. But that's all you make it. You may have thought you was clocking major figures, but you got to look at everything. And then that isn't even the end of it because we're still buying products and we're still paying utility bills. Those of us that are on, we're still spending money. So you got to back all that out too. So when you get through, it ain't even $30 an hour. It ain't even 26. Okay. That's one way that we're going to show you. So talk to me if you want to get interested in that. Hit me up or you can go to my designated text line, which is 708-798-7900. One of my stretch babies, put that up for me. And you can actually hit me up direct. It's text only. Send me a text. Look, I want to know how to do this, but you got to join stretch to do it. I don't just do it randomly. You got to be part of the coaching movement to do it. Okay, 708-798-7900. Let's talk about the next subject. Let's talk about how much product does one client use? Do you really know? how much product one client is using. Some clients use more of this than others. When that can of spray is empty, do you know how much spray, how much shampoo, how much conditioner, how much shine, how much edge control, whatever. Do you really know how much product one client consumes every time they come in? Because eventually that can is empty and you gotta go buy some more. There's a way that I'm gonna help you figure that out, guys. And, and it's actually really simple. You have to draw marks on the bottles. You have to track this over a period of time. You track it, three months is kind of the magic point where we can really know how much of something we're using. I'll just give you one scenario. The way we do this is, um, and, and I gotta show you how to do it with everything and how to back it out, but you gotta join Stretch to do that, or I either have to come and do a salon assessment for you, one or the other. But you're gonna take a bottle, any bottle, all of them actually, 
shampoo, conditioner, anything, and every time you use it and you're done, you're going to put a mark on the bottom. You're going to put a mark. That means that I use it on one person. You're going to keep doing that till the can is empty. Once the can is empty, you'll know approximately how many people it requires or how many people you're able to use that particular product on. And then we have to do a little math. You have to do this for every product in your shop. The average client uses about five products per visit. Shampoo, conditioner, leave-in spray, uh, three or four maintenance products. So you got to know, what is that costing you? Because see, when that product is gone, you got to go buy some more. So you spending money and you really don't know how what the numbers are as to how much on average every client is consuming of the product. Because even if they pay you $100, you got to back out the products you're using on them. You got to back that out. Okay? Because uh, that's the only way you really going to know the real numbers. See, we're spinning and we're not really knowing what the money looks like. That's why we make it money and we still like, where did it go? I don't... I don't even know where it went. I made $150,000 and I'm still robbing Peter to pay Paul. I'm still struggling. Where is it? Okay? So, call me or text me at 708-798-7900. I'll tell you how to, how to learn that. Or you can join Stretch. Okay, let me go to the next one. Y'all know I only got a half hour. Uh, what is each client worth to you? I have asked many stylists and owners to create what I call cycles of servicing. That means if you got these regulars that's been coming to you for 10, 15, I got people been coming to me the whole 30 years I've been doing hair. If they're coming to you, you should know on average what, they, and I ain't even gonna say on average, you should know how much money they're spending with you per year. That means you have to take the time, create what we call a cycle. That means I know, I'm going to use one of my clients for instance, I know Gwen comes every week and she gets a shampoo four weeks straight and then the next week she gets an edge up and then she goes another three weeks and then the next week she gets a color and then she goes another three or four weeks and then the next week, let's say she's wearing a weave, she gets a weave done all over again. These are cycles. You have to take the time and create cycles for every single one of your clients so you can then know what they're worth to you per year. Let me tell you what this does. If you know a client is worth $3,462 to you, if she keeps up with this cycle, and most of them do if they've been coming, coming for a while, then you know every time you gain a weekly or you lose a weekly, or you gain someone like her, or lose someone like her, you know what it's gonna cost you. You know that's gonna cost you every time you get someone to switch from weekly to bi-weekly, or you get someone to go from uh, uh, wearing basic services to now getting color, and that creates another cycle. You need to know how much revenue that person brings to your business every single year that they come. We're going to show you that. You would be amazed that when you start looking at these numbers, you start looking at everything differently. Because I don't want you to do this just for a hobby. I still love doing what I do. But it's still got to work, guys. It's still got to work. If you all think this information is valuable to you, do me a favor. Hit the share button on your phone. Hit the share button. It will allow you to share it to any groups that you feel would be benefited by this information because you got to know your numbers, guys. You got to know what it looks like when the smoke clears. Okay? So do that for me. Share it to any groups, any informa any of this uh, information, or share this information if you think they would benefit from it. So let me keep going, guys, because I only got a half hour. Uh, gross profit versus net profit. Now that to me is, that's simple math there. But if you make $250,000 a year, you got to back out everything before you really know what your net profit is you got to back out products if you're the owner of the salon you got to back out the, what the utilities cost you got to back out miscellaneous stuff you got to back out everything that you have to pay for regularly or miscellaneously and before you actually can know what your net profit looks like a lot of us if i ask you right now what are your 
uh, expenses for the month, the regular expenses. Some of you all couldn't even spit that out. And okay, fine. If you don't know it in your mind, you should at least be able to go somewhere and say, here it is right here. I spend $4,362.55 every month. That's what the utilities are. That's what the window cleaning, the person that cleans the shop, the I don't, toilet paper, paper towels, garbage bag. I don't care what you buy. You got, if you're buying this on a regular basis, you need to know what it is costing you. Because let me tell you something, guys. It's hard to fix anything when you don't even know what's broken. It's like your body not being healthy and you know something's wrong, but you know the doctor can figure out what it is. How you going to fix it? How you going to fix it if you don't know what it is? You have to know what's broken. So that's what, that's another thing, guys. Gross profit versus net profit. I'm not impressed when I hear people talk about money and talk about, yeah, I make uh, half a million or a million dollars. Okay, that's fine. That's good. That's great. But how much do you make when the smoke clears? Because I know, I know people with real money. I'm talking about people with seven figures, almost eight figures with real money, and they have learned the art of keeping it of keeping the majority of their money. See, it don't matter how much you make, it's how much you keep. How much you make it. Look, I didn't went through thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars in my life and still been broke. I had to figure out how do I keep making this money and don't be broke no more. And let me tell you what's gonna have to happen with that. You're gonna have to get tired. You're gonna have to get tired of being that way. You're gonna have to say, you know what? I ain't going through this no more. I'm not gonna keep making this money and consistently be broke. I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to reach out to people like me. I see I got my girl Rosina on here, the biz lawyer. Reach out to people like her. There are people that can help you know your numbers. There are people that can help you do that. When you get sick of being broke at the end of the rainbow and constantly having surges of money and then no money and you running this business, you're going to say, you know what? I'm sick of this. I, I can't do this no more. Something has got to give and you'll reach out for people that can help you and I can help you. Okay. Then we talk about what is your net worth? What are you worth? Do you even know how to figure net worth? Do you even know how to figure your assets against your or your liabilities against your assets? Do we know how to figure out or have we ever taken time to see what is my business worth? If I sold it today, it's good to do that every now and again. Okay, let's say I wanted to sell my business today. I got a full staff. I got all these people that work for me. I got, I got this going. Retail is kicking butt. I got all of this. How much would this business be worth to me today? You need to know that. You need to know how much this business is going to be worth to you today if you sold it. This will add to your assets. Whether you got a house, whether you own your house, whether you got a car. If you don't own it outright, how much is it in its in its state outside of after you got to pay the bank? How much could you benefit from it? If your house is valued at $400,000 and you only owe $150,000, okay, you got equity. How much of that goes towards your net worth? We're going to be going through that in Stretch Guys, so you all be, be ready. Okay, that's why I gave us two months to do this. If you want to learn about this information, hit me up. Text me at 708-798-7900. You can join Stretch and get it all, or I can work out with you where I do assessment for you. There is a cost, and I can help you figure this thing out, okay? What is your net worth? We need to know that. When you start wanting to increase your net worth, you, you, you got to own more stuff than you owe, all right? We got to flip it. We got to flip this thing, Okay. And then how much, look, I got, oh, how much, uh, how do you mark up retail? Like I got my notes in front of me, guys, while I'm driving. How much do you mark up retail? You know, I've said for years, yeah, traditionally that's for people I didn't have time to explain with. You pay five, you charge 10. But there really is a different science to mark up, guys. There's a different science. There's a formulation. And we don't have time to go through the whole formulation, but it's really a little more complicated than that, that you just pay five and charge 10. It's, it's a little different than that. So I will be able to work with my stretch coaching group, as well as anyone who wants to do a salon assessment with me, or you want me to assess your business. I can also help you figure that out. How do I really accurately charge for retail? Because that's going to be really important, guys. You need to know how to charge to do that. Okay, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to do all over again one of my most requested, most watched videos of all time, which was how I showed you all how to do a savings calendar. I taught you all how to save your money where you won't even feel it. 
That's what I did. Savings calendar. It's super duper easy. My stretch babies, I actually going to get one. I have someone creating one for me. It's basically a multiplication table, but it's a science on how you use it to save money and you won't even see it. So I'm going to teach you how to save some money uh, out of all this money that we make it. We got to stack some away somewhere. Okay. Then last but not least, let me see what I got on here. Uh, how to do a budget. You can't even do a budget till you know what the money is like when the smoke clears. You can't even do a budget because you don't really know how much money you got to work with. How are you going to do a budget and you really don't know? Just because you made $300,000 a year does not mean that's how much you got to work with. It does not mean you got $250,000 to work with. You start creating budgets based off of your gross profit, you're going to end up upside down. You're going to be upside down. You're going to be like, what happened? I don't have no money. I can't pay this. I can't pay that. You're going to be struggling. So this is something that is absolutely necessary for us to know our numbers. Okay? So this is, the, I, you got to know them, guys. You got to know them. If you do not know your numbers, you're going to keep on working like a dog, being broke, never having the opportunity to step back and say, I'm going to let my business now take care of me because I've taken care of it. This is very, very important. And this is something that I see being a problem in this entire industry. It is a big problem because we're making the money, but we have no idea what the money really is. So therefore, we still ending up 30 years later, got to do hair. It ain't even a choice. We ain't doing hair because we want to 30 years later. A lot of us are doing it because we got to. We don't have a choice but to keep doing hair. So again, for those of you all that are new that just came on, this is Knowledge by Nikki with 1K. If you believe that there are some groups that you are in, I want you to hit the share button and I want you to share this video with your groups because I know for a fact that this is information that people need to know and it's really not even just applicable to this business. It's really applicable to anything. But I know for a fact the business that I know and love so well, we really missing it. Let me plug. I'm about to die here. Give me some more juice. We are really, really missing it. So I want you to share this with the groups that you really believe will benefit from this information. So we got this is what we got going on, guys. Three month challenge. How much product does each client really use? We got what is each client worth to you? We got gross profit versus net profit. We got what is your net worth? We got to help you figure that out. We got, look, my writing is so bad. Uh, how do you actually mark up retail? We got a savings calendar I'm going to go back through. And then we have how to do a budget. All right? These are all the wonderful things that we have for you to figure out so we can stop being broke. I want us to be able to save money, to put kids through college, to, and trust me, I had to learn all this. Guys, I was making money hand over fist, and I, I didn't know where it was. I was like, and I wasn't, and I was a black belt shopper at one time, let me not lie, but I, I got over that, and I still was not seeing my money. I said, okay, God, I ain't at the stores like I used to be, so where is my money going? I had to sit down with someone. I had to learn what we call financial literacy. What is it that I am or am not doing because something is not working? And I'm making too much money and working too hard to keep living like this. So, those of you all that are interested in knowing more about this, this, and I, I actually have decided, I'm doing a salon owners conference. For those of you all that may not know, you can go on my website, Knowledge by Nikki with 1K. Dot com and you'll learn more about the conference. Uh, I've been going back and forth with what class I'm going to teach because at first I wasn't going to teach, but then people are like, no, you got to teach at your own conference. So I can teach in a lot of arenas. So I think this is the place I'm going to, I'm going to teach a knowing your numbers class. So for those of you all, look on my page. The Salon Owners Conference has, we got everything. We teach in every possible aspect of salon ownership everything that you could possibly want to know it's a private class i'm not taking a gazillion people so it's more one-on-one -on -one. you will be able to accurately uh come up with money solutions anything that you need to know go on my website you can sign up i have monthly payment options you get hotel with it a two days hotel you get your uh, breakfast and lunch with it you get all of that good stuff with it guys it is a wonderful conference for a very small fee if i was about 
seven or eight shades lighter, that fee would be triple or quadruple and you wouldn't get no food and you definitely wouldn't get no hotel. All right, so take advantage of this conference. It's in November. It's at the Chicago Midway Airport. It's at the Hyatt Place. So you get on the shuttle, go to the hotel. It takes you to the hotel and back. It's in a great area with malls and it's a mall and movies and all this other great stuff. So I want you all to get it. I am committed to us getting it. I, I don't care what I got to do. I'm like, you know what? Until I hang up my blow dryer completely and say I'm done. I am going to share this information with whoever wants to listen. If you want, if you believe, and I believe that your business can only succeed if you focus on more than just servicing, then I'm for you. Because I'm sorry, guys, we got all kind of businesses, guys, that are actually look at Kohl's. Kohl's is they got Amazon drop-offs. They got they getting ready to put a grocery store in Kohl's. Even big companies are realizing that they got to have more than one ball in the air or more than one revenue source in order to be able to be successful. And so we have to do the same, guys. We cannot just think about doing hair. Whether you're a barber or a stylist, you have to think about more than that, guys. So I want to help you figure that out. I want to help you figure that out. Look, I've came up to a dead end. I got to turn around. I want to help you all figure that out, guys. But the only way to really figure it out is I believe you have to know where you are now so you can know what type of money you have now to uh, uh, put into learning more. Because, you know, all the people, including me, that help you, we, we can't come completely for free. We can make it cheap. But we can't do it for free. So in order to get people to help you do this, you are going to have to spend a little bit. So let's try to figure out what we have to spend, where we need to shift, what's broken that we need to fix so we can run successful businesses and be really happy. See, when you're making money and you ain't straining and struggling, especially after you've been doing something for 20, 30 years, you like it more. You really do like it more. But when you still feel, when you feel like you on a stationary bike and you running and running and running and ain't nothing changing, you're doing the same thing over and over again, it gets old and you almost ready to cash out. So I just want you to embrace uh, thinking about something other than cutting, coloring and weaving just for a minute, just for a minute. That's fine because I believe in honing your skill now. But for a minute, I want you to focus on something other than cutting, coloring and weaving. Just do that for me. And look, I am getting ready to go get set up for an inspection, guys, on some property. So I am getting ready to sign off again. You believe people need this, text them or send them, share to their group or send them this video directly. Um, again, go on my website, knowledgebynikkiwith1k.com. You can also email me. It's knowledgebynikki at knowledgebynikki with one k at gmail.com or you can actually uh, uh get an email to me through my website if you want to know more information about this i got all my classes i got the salon owners conference i got all of that on the website but obviously some of y'all want to know more so that's fine you can hit me at my designated text line 708-798-7900 or you can access all those sources I just gave you. But I'm getting ready to go, guys. Peace out. Uh, also, I'm opening up a educational center. It's a small private center. That's what I'm actually going to get do the inspection for. And it's going to be great. It's going to be a place where if you're coming in town or if you know someone that wants to do classes here in the Chicago area, it's going to be set up for private, set up for theater style. I'm going to have it where projectors and screens and TVs, all that stuff is set up. I even got, I have at least three or four people that are chefs that actually cook and food will be optional you, if you want food with your package if you want hours with uh ceu hours if you need hours you'll be able to get hours with it uh we'll be able to provide everything you need where if you want to come in town do a class or an educator then we will be able to literally just get you set up all you got to do is show up we'll do everything else okay and what we're doing i'm not just focusing just on cutting coloring and weaving and all that stuff obviously i want to do things that are geared up for the salon industry but i'm also i got uh rosina pierce who was on here earlier i don't know if she's still watching she's called the biz lawyer she teaches about trademarking and all type of other business stuff she has a great group uh that she works with i went to her event last Sunday, I believe it was, and it was a group of people dealing with real estate, where to get money, uh, credit, business credit, all the things that are, are dear, uh, taxes, that I'm passionate about, learning more about. I'm also opening the floor for those type of events, uh, wealth building type of things, anything that can help my people. 
That's what I'm looking to do with this. So I'm going to show you all that once we get it all done. I, my inspection, praise God, is going to be done today. And, and I can go ahead and get everything started and put everything in its place. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. So again, y'all hit me up, knowledgebynikki1k.com. Y'all know I got to go. My world is crazy right now, but I love you, Facebook land. You all are wonderful. You all tell me all the time how I've changed your life. No, you all have changed mine. I thank you for listening, and I will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. Peace out.